We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. So the last thing that the bullet touches before it leaves the barrel is what we call the crown. So the end of your barrel essentially is what this is. It's always been seen to be the, a very, very important part of the gun system. When people build barrels, they take particular care to make sure this is done basically perfectly. Uh, there's a few different ways people do it. They do what they call it like a target crown, or you might hear somebody say an 11 degree crown. And generally what that means, is it's basically just tapered back in. Uh, they might put a little bit of a bevel on the inside edge of that too, depends on the gunsmith. And what it does is it helps to protect the end of that barrel from damage so in case you do drop it on the ground or something what happens if you do drop it on the ground well that's what we're going to find out today You can damage your crown a bunch of different ways. Generally, you know, you hit it off the ground, you drop it, maybe you catch it on the edge of your safe or something when you're putting it in and out, and you might cause a small burr or a damage to the area where the actual bore is and that meets the face of the barrel. What this will end up doing is causing damage likely to your bullet or your jacket at least. What we're gonna do is we've got a 22 set up here. Uh, it's a CZ with a custom uh, IVI barrel on it. So it's a really good gun. It shoots really well. I've shot a handful of groups down there right now to kind of set a baseline line for the accuracy and now what we're gonna do is go and take it and drop it on the ground and see what happens to it three two one oh. <laughs> you can see this the cement indents but I don't think it actually like damaged it but we'll shoot it and see what happens that shot same size group so I, I obviously didn't do any damage to it so we're gonna go and drop it into the gravel now and see what happens that was softer than I expected. Still didn't damage it. So I think what we're gonna do is uh, go and take a punch and try and actually damage it. I can feel a, a bit of a burr there on the one edge. So let's shoot it and see what happens. This is zeroing. These were the groups I shot before I damaged anything. I, for some reason, had some random flyer on almost all of them. This is a group I shot after I dropped it on the cement, so obviously no damage there because it stayed nice and tight. And these two are the groups I shot uh, when I took a punch to the end of the barrel. Definitely opened up. So that's what the damage did from a light tap with a punch on the end. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to like get a little more aggressive with it and see how much damage we can do to the end of the crown. Two major indents there and some deformation on the top there. I don't even know if it hit the paper. I, I figured it was gonna change my point of impact with the amount of hitting we did on the end of the crown. I didn't expect it as much as it did. My original point of aim was here and I could see impacts downrange in the dirt. So I moved over to my point of aim being over in the corner here and this was the group it created. We're at now a two inch group that's very stringy and obviously not very consistent. Okay, now that we did all that damage to it and we now know it does not shoot at all, uh, we're gonna go take it over and have the crown redone at IBI. So uh, we're gonna shoot it now and see what it does and see if it, it, it corrected the massive shift in point of impact and also tightens up the group again. Okay, so the first one went high, uh, and then the next four went down below, and actually shot a pretty decent group. Three were all touching, and one was just a little bit out to the left. I'm gonna shoot a couple more groups just to confirm what it's doing, and uh, see, if, see if we have it back to the same accuracy as before, which I think we do. Okay, so we just shot a few more groups down there just to see where it is. It's shooting basically the exact same as it was before with this ammo combination uh, with this barrel, so. Uh, probably right around a half inch group at 50 yards, so one MOA we'll call it. Um, I'm sure if you went and tried some different ammo and that type of thing, you'd probably get it a lot tighter than that. Um, but definitely saw the big difference between a damaged crown and how much of a difference it made. And then going back to a, you know, a proper cleaned up, uh, well done crown. So make sure you keep that crown protected because if you do damage it, you will definitely see the effects downrange.